Uh, the fun game we get to play is diesel owners, right? With the dealership. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's some pretty liberal uh, dealerships that go, okay, well, that, you know, that didn't cause any problems, so big deal that it's on there, and they'll honor your warranty, but there's some that'll try to bounce it out no matter what. And that's totally at the discretion of the dealer. So uh, I wouldn't give them any reasons. I would just take the thing off. It only it only takes like 20 minutes to remove the kit and then um, go in and have your warranty work done. Okay, great. And then just, to, just as easy to, to reinstall then? Yeah. You know, you've got all your stuff ready grilled and ready to go in. It just uh, just put it back on and you're, you're back in business. Okay, great. A couple last questions. Uh, just as you were mentioning, you, you stated yourself, I mean, you've been in the industry for quite a while. Uh, other companies have popped up trying to offer similar products. You know, ATS offers a water methanol, cooling mist, some other companies out there. Uh, what would you say when people are in the water methanol injection market, uh, they're looking for kits, what would you say, you know, experience, I think, is one from what it sounds like and the, the willingness or the desire to advance the technology uh, just from hearing what we've talked about. But what else would you say that, that sets your company apart from those others that are, are offering water methanol injection and offer kits that are similar to yours? Uh, well, of course, we're the best and nobody else knows anything. But <laughs> <laughs> of I, course. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we, we're water methanol people. That's all we do. Uh, we started it. We uh, we spent more time on it. We focus on it. We uh, our whole thing is to get a product to market that's user friendly, that the guy can put on his truck and uh, without too much trouble get full benefits out of it. Um, value. I mean, we don't. Uh, I think when you look at what you get for the dollar with our product, we spent a lot of time for robustness. We just didn't cobble something together or copy somebody else's stuff. Um, we offer the best warranty, and our stuff comes with a lifetime warranty even if you don't use our fluid now. Uh, no one else can say that. No one else can even consider it because they don't have the track record and the robustness we've got. Those are, those are key issues. We, uh, um, you know, I think, you know, there's a, one of our distributors said it best, one of our diesel distributors, and sells a lot of our stuff, and uh, he said that he's never had an unhappy snow customer, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It says a lot for the product and our customer service, I think. Um, but, yeah, this we spent a lot of time putting all this stuff together. Uh, the other guys have spent a lot of time copying what we've done. <laughs> okay. Like, you know, when you when you start something and you're the leader and, you know, they're, they're copying our old stuff, our, our new stuff is even better. Light years ahead of the competition. Yep. We, uh, we, we go to great lengths in R&D efforts to make sure we've got the the coolest thing out there that works the best and and we've got the numbers to prove it we've got the dyno charts we've got we've got the, the feedback from our customers and we've got the data off our own trucks uh, i don't think anybody else has got any diesel data very very little of it they just um you know that's that's all we do uh -huh. Well, speaking of, of diesels as well, one last question I have to ask for those of our clients. We, you know, we, we, we do a lot of the truck stuff, but also a huge uh, market that we have as well is the Volkswagen TDI owners. Um, have you had any experience with, with people putting kits on those, or how has it worked out? A TDI has become is an increasing market for us. We, we got intimately exposed to it with a, uh, a rally team that came out to run the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb this year. <clears throat> we're right by Pikes Peak, so they kept uh, melting turbos in practice, and they called us. We put a kit on their on their TDI. If they look, if you look on our website, snowperformance.net, there's a news item that shows what we did on the TDI. Uh, the guy took a minute and three seconds off his best time to the top of the hill, uh, so he he went from like uh, 14 seconds down to 13, or 14 minutes down to 13 minutes rather, which is extremely significant. Uh, he beat one of the factory Touareg diesels up to the top of the hill. Volkswagen bought their their uh, their diesel Touareg team out that you know, ran some events in Europe and so forth. Uh -huh. uh, but the cool thing is that the guy added 40 horse with our kit and saved his turbo. He could run full power all the way to the top of the hill. Um, he broke two shafts in, a, in two turbos in two days prior to that. 
uh, when you go up in elevation, the turbo has to spin harder to make boost, and you just can't take it. Uh huh. Um, and then the other thing is the the service interval to clean for all the EGR that TDIs use. You you have a problem with uh, soot and gunk in the intake on a TDI from all the EGR, and uh, water methanol cleans that out, so you don't have to do a, that service step periodically with them. Uh, but we see pretty consistent 40 horsepower with 50-50 mix, and you get fuel economy, and it does the same as on the, on the, on the class two and three and four trucks. I mean, it it does it has the same exact benefits of fuel economy, power, and and cooler EGTs. Well, great. So especially with that EGR, I mean, shops charging 650 plus dollars to to take off that manifold and that EGR system to clean it out, that kit pays for itself pretty quick, doesn't it? Yep, you won't need to do that. Uh, you use this kit for a month, and that thing will be clean. It, it just you, you'll see a bunch of gunk going out your pipe for a while. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, they use an awful lot of EGR on those cars. Yeah, definitely. Well, great. Well, anything else you'd like uh, people to know about your company? Or I, pre- I do appreciate you being on the call with us this morning. Anything else you'd like to say in closing? No, I think that uh, you know our. Our emphasis now is going to be um, really on fuel economy and showing people that this should be the, the second or third thing you put on your truck. And, uh, you know, for bang for the buck, you know, in, in terms of, of, you know, one to three miles per gallon and the power and everything, it just you just can't beat it. Every diesel should have one on it, just like a, a programmer. I mean, they're, they're easy decisions to make. Well, great. Well, I appreciate it, Matt. Um, 